Hi, I'm James, Developer Evangelist for Dynamic PDF. In this tutorial, we demonstrate merging multiple PDF documents into a combined PDF document. The Dynamic PDF Core Suite combines the merger, generator, and report writer products into a powerful combined product. Dynamic PDF Merger includes capabilities such as merging PDFs, creating and filling out forms, appending, adding watermarks to PDF forms, and much, much more. In this tutorial, we show just how easy it is to merge three PDF documents into a single PDF document. If in another tutorial you already created the project examples-dynamicpdf-core, then open it. Otherwise, start Visual Studio and let's create a new project. Create a new C-sharp.net core project. Console app, .NET Core, C Sharp. Next, name the project examples-dynamicpdf-core. Add the NuGet package. Search for it, C-E-T-E dot dynamic PDF, and there it is, C-E-T-E dynamic PDF dot core suite dot net. Select it, install, okay, I accept. Now remove the console dot write line statement. Add console dot read key. And we do that just so the console window doesn't close automatically when we run the application. Let's create a utility class that simplifies our project by adding code that makes resolving project paths easier. From Solutions Explorer, create a new class named Util. Add class class, name it Util and add it. Add a method named getPath with filePath as a property. We use this utility class to simplify the remaining code in this tutorial. Now download the PDF resources used in this tutorial. This file is a zip file containing all the example PDF documents we will use. Download the files at http dynamicpdf.com forward slash examples forward slash resources dot zip. Extract the files. Open them. Find PDFs. Copy it. Now let's return to Visual Studio. Create a new folder named Resources. So now we have Resources, PDFs, and there's our example PDF files. Create a new class named Merge PDFs. Add the using statement for merger. Create a new method named merge PDF. Add a new instance of merge document by passing two PDF files. Add the draw method to the merge document instance to output the merge document. Create a new method named run. Add merge PDF to the newly created method. Now let's add the run method to program 
www.cs. If you see some other road methods from previous tutorials, go ahead and just comment them out. Run the application. Tap any key to close the console window. Go to Output, and there's the document, Merge PDFs.PDF. Open it, and there you see the document, Merged. We have Document A, page one, two, page one and two. Document B, page one, two, and three. Now let's illustrate appending PDFs. Return to Merge PDF. Create a new method named Append PDF. Add a new Merge Document instance. Now call the Append method of Document to add Document B. Do the same for Document C. Now let's call the Document's Draw method and pass the output path. Add append PDF to our run method. Run the application. Tap any key to close the console window. And there we go, append PDF.PDF. Open it. And we have document A, document B, and document C. Now let's make our example a little more complex by specifying merge options before appending to a PDF. Create a new method named merge option. Create a new merge document instance by passing document A to the constructor. Create a new merge options by using append. Now let's set outlines to false. Outlines is the same as bookmarks. Now append document B, only this time we're also going to pass the options. Now append document C, and we also want the draw method for document. Add merge option to the run method. Now before we do anything, let's look at what we have. So let's first open document A. Note. There's no bookmarks. Document B, note, there's bookmarks. Document C, there's no bookmarks. Now we specified the outlines to false. So what we expect is that there is gonna be no bookmarks. Let's run the method. Tap any key to close the console window. And there's merge option PDF. Let's go ahead and open it. And as we expected, there are no bookmarks in the merge document. As the three examples illustrate, merging PDFs using dynamic PDF is intuitive and easy. Of course, dynamic PDF merger has many more advanced features when you need to create more complex documents. You can download the complete source code for this project from our dynamic PDF GitHub site at github.com. Refer to our website for more information on licensing Dynamic PDF Course Suite. This is ideal for anyone who needs to create PDFs as well as work with existing PDFs in their applications. With a free evaluation edition to try and with flexible and royalty-free licensing options, why not start using Dynamic PDF Course Suite today? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm James reminding you, when you think PDF, think Dynamic PDF. Until next time.